that happen to our citizens in our counties don't stop at the county line. We need to make sure that we are engaged at both the state and the federal level. We are one of 3,069 counties and we band together. We have a voice in Washington. When we partner together as a group, we have more strength as one. Uh, it's one voice, and we're speaking to the government, our government. We're saying, hey, you know what? This is how we feel. This is what we need. Cost savings from NACO through the prescription card program alone and the Live Healthy Counties has saved West Virginia, uh, the West Virginia, the entire state, in the millions of dollars. And it's saved our local residents in our small county of about 35 to 40,000 people. Uh, so about three to four hundred thousand dollars over the last eight years and the amazing thing that is it's a benefit offered to counties by NACO through Caremark and it's free. One of the reasons that we've not had to raise taxes over the past ten straight years is because of our participation, our engagement and the level of support and information we get from NACO. If you're looking for county news, research items or legislative updates NACO has done a tremendous job in increasing the visibility, easy to use, and where all the information is right on the website. NACO offers 40 webinars each year, and they are accessible at my desktop. County News is a great resource to help county leaders because it keeps us informed on, on, on national issues that do affect counties. Another wonderful program, it's the Grants Clearinghouse. This has saved my county money as well as time. What we're looking to do in, this, in Salt Lake County is to take the limited tax dollars we spend and put it into practices that have data and evidence that show that they're working. Think of an elected official like myself, this helps me to explain what it is that counties do. That's where NACO comes in. NACO, with their data and education and training, can help us set objective criteria to guide uh, where we spend our dollars and what we do. Being a member of NACO opens the door for a lot of different activities and networking capabilities that you can participate in. Uh, you, you, you discuss with different folks from across the country situations that may occur. You get a chance to work with them. They give you information, data, any type of research along those lines, and then you can utilize it in your home county and or state. Nobody has all the greatest ideas ever. You have to go learn them from other people. I've actually been attending NACO conferences for the last 14 years, and I find them one of the most beneficial aspects of uh, being uh, in the greatest resources that I have as a county official. There's strength in numbers. Being able to share ideas and trends prior to us being able to face them from a governance perspective locally. Get best practices from other areas. NACO's the one. Oh, I'm a county commissioner and it's one of the greatest organizations. It was all about us working together through uni, suburban, urban, rural. Nobody is left out at NACO. The rubber meets the road at the local level. Cities, counties, and schools, specifically counties, we're the ones that drive the bulk of the action. And frankly, I think we're on a tear and I'm excited about the future for the organization.